Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix with an tutorial and this tutorial I want to show you how you can properly use and apply the mixer brush tool. I've been going through so many settings about the mixer brush tool when it comes to using frequency separation and how you can easily set up the mixer brush tool to even out skin tones but I've taken less time focusing more on how to apply it and the right way to use it or to apply it on your images or the direction in which you should move the mixer brush tool what you ought to do and what you shouldn't do when it comes to using the mixer brush tool in photoshop so in this tutorial i'm just going to be focusing on the latter so right now this is the image that i'm going to be using for this tutorial and this was taken by encourage studios so you can check him out on instagram so i'm just going to come and i play my frequency separation action and if i'm interested in purchasing or buying my frequency separation actions the link is going to be in the description of this video so right now just come the actions and i play my 60 bit frequency separation action so in order to apply any mixer brush to better or well in your images you always have to take into consideration this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation so the amount of gaussian blur that you apply to the image is going to be affecting the overall results regarding skin texture or how blending the skin tones are going to be at the end of the retouching process so you have to be careful with this first step so this step basically what we do we look for an area that seems to have more skin textures than the rest of the skin and we use that area as a reference point to blur out the skin texture so as soon as we start losing out on the prominent details or skin textures in the image it means that the rest of the tiniest details are also going to be lost so the purposes or the purpose of this very step is to get rid of the textures but we have stop at the point when the most prominent textures are just starting to disappear from the image so i'll simply come the radius and simply start dragging it up so you drag you left click as you're releasing as you're dragging it up to see the effect happening onto the image so we want to stop at the point when the details are just starting to disappear so for this image at around 7 that is when the textures are just starting to disappear so remember at this point the textures you lose out on this very step are going to be the textures you are going to remain with in the final image so just going to come and click ok and the action is going to continue running and playing so like i said we are going to go through the settings first before we understand how to apply the mixer brush tool so if at all you don't know how to set up the mixer brush tool i'm going to run through those settings so in order to use the mixer brush tool i'm just going to delete the black and white layer but if at all you prefer to use the black and white layer as a whole player to show you or enable you where to blend and where not to blend regarding skin imperfections or uneven skin tones you can as well keep it so before we blend the skin tones the very first thing we have to take into consideration is understanding the layer on which you want to blend the skin tones remember skin tones are part of colors and remember colors are also part of the low frequency layer so i'll just come and i select the low frequency layer so it is on this layer that we're going to be applying the mixer brush tool so in order to get the mixer brush tool I just want to run through the settings so you come under the brushes right click and you get the mixer brush tool or you can as well find the mixer brush tool below here so the brush is going to be having settings that are going to be up here so for the settings i'm just going to go through those quick hardness at zero and make sure soft round brush is selected then we also have clean brush make sure clean brush is selected because you don't want the brush to hold any other color and make sure this option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has also been selected the reason for this is because as you're blending different areas of the skin tone you want photoshop to automatically clean the brush when you are trying to even out the skin tones of the image so the weight you're going to be using is nine percent so i prefer to use the weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 in the flow of 100 percent the reason for only handling or playing with the weightness is because I don't want to spend a long time trying to even out the skin tones but i don't want it to be all the way up so some people prefer to use 
30 or through these settings but i only prefer to use nine percent and i leave the rest at 75 mix at 90 flow at 100 and i leave this option that says smoothing for stroke at 10 percent then the most important step when it comes to using a mr brush tool is sample all, all layers so when you leave this option turned on and you leave the texture layer also activated it means when you start painting on the skin area you're going to be painting back textures in those very areas and it is going to be creating I'm just zoom in for you it's going to be creating this kind of rough or black texture in the image meaning you have told or you have commanded the brush to also sample the textures and paint them in the layer that we have selected right here which is the low frequency layer or the color layer which we don't want so i'll simply undo that because i don't want it to be like that so when it comes to applying the missile brush tool you always have to be with a keen eye so if at all using a missile brush tool and it's showing a plus icon simply press the caps lock key so when you're going to apply the missile brush tool you always have to make sure that the size is relatively in range or it is in flow with the area you're going to be working on or mixing or blending so usually when you are mixing always make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you do this you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions and you won't be able to see the areas that are having uneven skin tone transitions but when you zoom out you can see them at a distance and zooming retouching when you're zoomed out it host also helps you rather to see or retouch faster and you cover a wider distance within a short period of time so in order to see the uneven skin tone transitions the trick is you turn off the textures or the high frequency and in this way you can see the uneven skin tone transitions in your image so right now we are now going to start applying the missile brush tool so how to apply it or how to best apply the missile brush tool basically like i said you don't zoom all the way in you retouch at a distance so right now you can see we have uneven skin tone transitions in this forehead area the left forehead area so how to do this you simply increase on the size of the brush and make sure it is relatively it can blend that area without going over the borders or the nearby areas so make sure it is in that size or that range so how to apply the missile brush tool this is for beginners and if at all you don't have a retouching tablet this is for you so if at all you want to blend this area what you do you left click and hold down so you left click and hold down so if at all you're using a touchpad or if at all you're using a mouse you left click and hold down and you have to drag the mixer brush tool in the direction of the area you're trying to work on so if at all the forehead is or if at all you're working on the forehead you have to move the strokes of the mixer brush tool in an up down kind of direction because the forehead is moving in this direction so we can't move the mixer brush tool in this direction we have to move it in this direction to keep and maintain the original shape of the model's face so and the other thing when you're mixing you always have to ensure that you're mixing colors that are looking alike so that you can create and blend them or you get rid of the color that is existing where it shouldn't exist by blending the majority of the surrounding col colors in that area to get rid of it so that is what we want to do right now so in this area you can see that we have this kind of bright area right here so i'll simply left click and hold down and i move the mixer brush tool to slightly blend in that area to be part of the dominant color in that given area and in that way it is going to be creating evenness within that very area you can see how it is creating evenness so you mix and blend that area until when you feel like it is having a same or uniform color so let's try this brighter area so we are going to mix in that direction so you have to follow the direction and if at all you're going to mix a different area you release the left click button and you simply left click once again and hold down and you mix that area that has a different color 
So when you're done working in that area where that color is transitioning from the dark color maybe to a bright color, you reduce on the size of the brush and you simply mix the boundary so that you can create a nice and smooth harmony within those colors. And in that way, the colors are going to be blending quite well. So you can see that we have some dark color right here, but we have some bright patches. So I'll left click and hold down and I move the strokes of a mixer brush tool in that direction to blend that color and I the tiniest colors belong where they shouldn't belong. I'll blend them or the bright the bright colors that were belonging within the dark area. I'll just blend them so that they can blend into the dominant color in that area. So that is how you can apply the Mr. Brush tool. So I'm just going to be demonstrating for you just on the forehead area. And I'll follow the steps I've just mentioned to so you can see that the more plastic the image is getting when using the Mr. Brush tool, the better the results because right now, if at all the colors are transitioning well, the image is going to look plastic because we have turned off the texture layer in this very image. So I'll just come and turn on the texture layer of this very image and I show you the results for this. So you can see that the textures are still intact and when you turn on and off the overall frequency separation group, you can see that we have blended or even out the skin tone transitions. So when it comes to the nose area, you can see that we have different colors. So I'll use the same technique, turn off the high frequency layer and after turning it off, reduce on the size and I mix the darkest areas within the skin tone of the nose. You can see the nose is moving from up to down. So I'll get a small brush and blend these dark areas on the nose so that they can blend well and even better to get rid of that bright area which was belonging there. So we mix a color so that it can blend within the majority or the predominant color in that area so that we can have a very nice transition. So to mix a different area you release and you left click and hold down and you mix once again. So in this way you're going to be creating harmony within those colors. So I'm just going to mix. You can see how nice and perfect this is. So when it comes to the brightest area which is the highlight, you reduce on the size and you mix that highlight alone because it may be containing darker colors or tones. So you mix colors just like that. So let me just show you a quick before and after for what we have done on the nose area. So this is the before. Look at these colors that we are belonging right here. You can see these bright colors that we are belonging here. So we mix them to blend into the surrounding color which is the majority color which is the dark color on the nose area. And this is what we have been able to achieve. We have just gotten rid of that bright color that was belonging where it shouldn't belong. So that is how we use and apply the Mr. Brush tool. So you can go ahead and apply it on the rest or overall image to achieve better and nice transitions within the image. So this is how to use and apply the Mr. Brush tool in Photoshop regarding frequency separation. And I hope I've been very nice, precise and clear regarding the Mr. Brush tool. So this is it for this video. And if I told you I've learned a thing or two from this video, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.